Rediscover your past by digitizing your family's memories with Legacy Box. Watch until the end of this video to find out more about preserving your legacy, and then visit LegacyBox.com recollection. Starting out with McDonald's, those golden arches could be found on street corners in just about every town. Remember their big brown drive through menu with the interchangeable letters? They might have been hard to read from a distance, but they instantly take you back in time. Luckily, the menu itself hasn't changed too much with the main offerings, but there have been lots of additions over the years. It's also nice that you can enjoy the breakfast menu all day now, instead of having to wake up early to make it before 10.30. This was also a time when food came in styrofoam. McDonald's has gone back and forth with how they package food, but these styrofoam ones remind me of how things used to be. And who could forget these super long stir sticks for coffee? There was also a time when collecting the McDonald's promotional glasses was a big deal, from the ones with McDonald's characters to the Muppets and even Garfield. There seemed to be glasses from McDonald's hiding in everyone's kitchen cabinets. Back when McDonald's restaurants had a lot of interior glass windows, they used to dress them up by adding the Hamburglar, Birdie, Grimace, and Ronald McDonald himself, which gave you something to stare at when you were dining in. You may have also noticed the familiar look of the flooring. The brown square tiled floors were found in just about every McDonald's. Do you remember the big hamburger jail cell found outside on the playground? The metal either burned your hands and knees in the summer or was covered in snow and ice in the winter. But of course, when you're a kid, all that mattered was being the first to finish your meal so you could go outside to play. Would you still be willing to put on these vintage uniforms if they still fit? How about operating that old school cash register? This red and white striped outfit was actually first introduced in the 1970s, but lived on throughout the 1980s. Remember when Burger King used to look like this? That familiar sign that read, Home of the Whopper, adorned the top of all the Burger Kings that I can remember from years ago. Burger King has used the King as their mascot since the beginning, but the design of the character has gone through some changes. From cartoonish to creepy, the King has been around in some form for a very long time. One of the standout promotions from Burger King was their collaboration with the Star Wars franchise. The collectible series of glasses featured Luke Skywalker, Princess Leia, Darth Vader, and more. These glasses became highly sought after items and had everyone scrambling to complete their Star Wars collection. Burger King was a popular destination for children's birthday celebrations too. They offered special party packages that included food, drinks, and of course those iconic Burger King crowns. Who could forget the familiar roof line of Pizza Hut back in the day? This was seemingly where everyone headed after their kids' sports games. There weren't many things better than enjoying an original pan pizza on a Friday night. There was just something about the atmosphere inside a Pizza Hut. The checkered tablecloths and the stained glass chandelier lighting just invited you in. And these plastic red cups were legendary. Just by looking at them, you instantly think of Pizza Hut. The setup was almost always the same. The green carpeting, the salad bar, and of course, the pizza buffet. This certainly brings back a lot of memories. Who remembers the Pizza Hut Book It program? This was where kids who read a certain number of books could earn a free personal pizza. This promotion not only encouraged reading, but also made Pizza Hut a go-to destination for families. Taco Bell definitely looked more authentic years ago, with its orange shingle rooftop and huge sign on the front. Who could forget this old logo? And when you stepped inside a Taco Bell restaurant, you were greeted by a festive and colorful interior that felt different than other restaurants. The plastic and wood seating, along with the neon colors, made it unmistakable. Taco Bell has always been known for its innovative and sometimes unconventional offerings. 
They introduced new menu items like the Bell Beefer, a hamburger-like sandwich, and the Enchirito, a hybrid enchilada and burrito. These predated the popular offerings of gorditas and chalupas that you find today. Taco Bell was also one of the few chains that started out by serving some of their menu items on plates rather than wrapped in paper. There was also this coin game that sat by the registers and enticed customers to drop their coins into it to win free food. Whatever happened to these? Wendy's restaurants reminded us that it was okay to be old-fashioned. The buildings were distinct, with their glass sunrooms and brown interiors. This was contrasted by the blue candy-striped uniforms that employees used to wear. Wendy's was innovative to say the least. They offered chili and baked potatoes to their menu early on, and it was a welcome change. Who remembers the very first Super Value menu, created by Wendy's in 1989? It introduced nine items available for 99 cents, all day, every day. Wendy's also created a revolutionary concept for a fast food restaurant called the Super Bar. This self-service salad bar allowed customers to create their own salads for a healthier option. The ad campaign that put Wendy's on the map was Where's the Beef? This catchy slogan highlighted Wendy's commitment to serving high-quality, beefy burgers. This was, of course, before founder Dave Thomas began appearing in commercials. Dave would star in over 800 commercials and became the face of the company throughout the 1990s. When you walked into a Subway restaurant during the 1980s and 1990s, you were greeted by a distinct interior, dominated by yellow. There were also accents of black and white photography and subway tile patterns that set the mood. Do you remember the Subway Dollar Sub Club? This promotion offered customers the opportunity to get a six inch sub for just a dollar and helped to drive lots of traffic to Subway, building a loyal customer base. Under another Sub Club promotion, customers received a stamp for every six inch sandwich they bought. A full card of eight stamps could be redeemed for a free sandwich. How many of us had these stamps floating around our car? Let me know in the comments if I missed anything, and maybe even consider supporting the channel over on Patreon. Recollection Road has partnered with Legacy Box because we're both all about preserving the past. Why not do the same with your own family home movies and photos? Legacy Box is the simple, safe, they've thought of everything solution for converting your home movies and photos to thumb drive or the cloud. Just send in your Legacy Box filled with old VHS and camcorder tapes, film reels, and pictures, and get back digital copies that can be easily enjoyed, shared, and kept organized. It's that easy. Not only is Legacy Box trusted by over 1 million people, but it's professionally digitized right here in the USA. Get started preserving your past today. Go to LegacyBox.com recollection to get an incredible 55% off. Buy today to take advantage of this exclusive offer and send in your memories when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com recollection to save 55% while supplies last. If you enjoyed this video, consider watching this playlist, and then visit the channel to search the Recollection Road Library. As always, thank you so much for watching.